Hi, in today's episode, let's learn about the work calendar for Monday.com. To start, let's install the template to our Monday.com account by clicking Add, choose Templates, and search for Work Calendar. Let's notice first the apps that can be integrated with the Work Calendar template, Zoom and Google Calendar. Then, let's click Use Template to fully install. Make the most of your productive week with this template by scheduling work easily right on your mobile phone. This template is made up of two main views, the very main view and the calendar view. As we can see, the calendar view is still empty. Let's add some tasks to see what it will look like when filled. Supposing we'll assign Dan for this specific task and we'll change the status into working on it. Then the priority status into high and let's set the deadline to 15th of November. Now, let's check how our calendar looks like. As we can see, the recent task we created had already reflected. Next are the following groups we will find as soon as this template is installed. Tasks set within the week will be added on the this week group, and the others will be on next week and next month. Setting the tasks for your team members on different groups is better for easy tracking. Notifications are already being set to make sure that task owners don't miss anything. A pre-automation for deadlines are already been set up. To simply eliminate some grunt work into your workflow, you can add or edit some automation recipes. Set deadlines. Create automatic updates when a certain status or priority has has changed. Let's get to the Team Task Overview Dashboard. Dashboards are fully customizable. It is an excellent way to display important data from various boards in a single location by utilizing different types of widgets. We can adjust the each widget to its size that we want. Battery widgets are best for the status of each task and a pie chart for the priority level of the tasks. You may also add another widgets to visualize other data on your board by clicking the add widget and from the widget center you'll be able to see more options on how you can interpret data more visually appealing. Let's try to add some other tasks, a social media content for December that will be set this week and YouTube video tutorials for next week. Assigning of task owners, changing of statuses can be done by batch. This will make us save more time. Let's edit this column into a file column where we can upload the graphics for the, the social media and videos tutorials for the YouTube. We'll be able to add or manage files from our computer, from the webcam, Monday work doc, a link, and many more. The updates section enables you and your team to communicate socially within an item, keeping all conversations about a specific task or project in one place. To mention someone, use the at sign and click the name of the person you want to communicate with. By mentioning a team, you ensure that your update is seen by the appropriate people. Stay tuned for another video about the update section. For now, Let's get back to our board. We can also change the view of our calendar by month, week and day. While our calendar still looks empty, let's set the deadlines for the tasks we have recently created for our Dan and see again if anything changes. Let's try to add some other tasks, a social media content for December that will be set this week, and YouTube video tutorials for next week. Now our calendar has colors and is now more meaningful to look at. We can customize the view of our calendar through the settings. Change the color by status, priority, or by group. This time, I will choose the color by group. As soon as you have installed this type of template, you may also check the update found on the very first group of this board and read some useful information on how this template can be used. Thank you for watching and we hope you have learned so much from today's episode. Follow us for more content about business digitalization. We're MindFlows, a certified Monday.com partner.